again. Okay, that's better. Alright, we're gonna try out fun land. Happy fun land. Happy fun land is laid out like the four cardinal directions of the compass. To the north. Right over it's there. Land. We're gonna try that out. Filled with All enough right. wind even to kill any child's fancy. To the east is western land, land of the outlaws. To the south is any town plaza USA. Wanted, able An authentic recreation of turn of the video abandoned theme park. To the west Must have is danger land, a reliable. land of perilous Over danger. Cheap. You and that your whole family will enjoy a happy Contact and there. fun escape from your sad and futile yeah. life at more easy, happy fun land. South Florida's happiest and funnest theme park. Hey kids, it's Fort Grizzly's Happy Funland. Probably lost that, didn't we? All right. Happy Funland is laid out like the four cardinal directions hey, of mommy. the compass. To the north Look, it's is a Fancy Land. Filled with enough winds even to kill any child's fancy. To the east Two is blocks. Western Land, land of the outlaws. To the south is any town plaza USA. Mm. An authentic recreation mm. of turn of the century theme Great. retail. Mm. To the west is Danger Land, a land of perilous danger. You and your whole family will oh. enjoy a happy My arms. You had never heard of Happy Funland Theme Park. Why its tragic tale? When you agreed to meet a total stranger and Larry in the middle of a South Florida swamp. Perhaps if you had known about the grisly events that happened there, you wouldn't have agreed to the job. Oh, you know Larry? Shit, you know Larry. This was a shithole. All right. Since he knows Larry, let's go see him. He knows. You don't mind if I call you dude. Nice, dude. Huh? I call everyone dude, chicks, dudes, whatever. Yep, so dude. I'm Larry. Uh, what's right. up, dude? Look, I know it's real hard to find someone willing to be some random crazy stranger out in the middle of the swamp at night and all like this, so I do appreciate you coming. Huh. Well, now, I love that you. Oh, yeah. yeah, you'll do just fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, the first thing we need to do here is have you strap this wireless video camera on top of your head. Shit. This here will allow me to see That's you here, record everything you That's did, and buddy. talk at you over your headphones. I'll fill you in on more aggressive plan as we go. Here, put this on. All right, got a signal. Video looks pretty dark, though. Mm. You know, when I told you to meet me here at night, I kind of forgot about the whole lit being dark thing and all. So, you're probably going to want to have a flashlight. There's one in my toolbox on that crate over there by the fence near my truck. Why don't you go over there and get it? Oh, you can go and test the video. Okay. Yeah. You can go on. You can go on. Anyways, it being dark and all just helps set the proper mood and such. Plus, it just seemed to be easier for sneaking in, cover of darkness and all. Flashlights just in the red toolbox right there. That should come in handy for you. Like I said to my ad, I needed someone to explore and videotape this abandoned theme park I found out here called Happy Fun Land. You ever Happy heard of it? Land. Probably not. It was closed and abandoned in the early yeah. 70s. 
see, I make online videos where I explore abandoned places and things, and I usually would just do it myself, but I came out here last month to do just that, but I didn't make it too far till boom! Damn gator chop off both my legs. Oh yeah, you better believe it's been hell. I thought my videographic days were over, and my video channel would start losing followers. But this here find is way too big to walk away from, even if I could still walk. So that's where I came up with this idea for just having a wireless video headset and all, and just hiring someone else like you with legs to explore the place for me. So come on, hop on the boat, we can get started. I think you're only 83% done downloading. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that one. I'm sorry. So this here doc was the closest point of entry I could find out here, just outside the company property. They got this whole place locked down pretty good with the next five fences and all. If they still got power, there must still be power going to this park. And I happen to know a fat way. Now don't you worry about being the tech by gators out here or nothing. As long as you're careful and keep an eye on them, you should be just fine. Just don't be stupid like I was, and you should be able to walk away from this on your own too late. So now we're crossing on the Grizzly Company property and are technically immediately trespassing and all, but don't you even worry about that. Pretty sure they don't even control this place that much anymore. Yeah. There's an old billboard for the park. Park Grizzly, Happy Fun Land, home of Randy Road. You ever heard anything about Fort Grizzly or Randy Road? Or sorry. about that terrible tragedy that closed this whole place down? Put it in this hand. Oh! Dang! Bats just like blind rats. Little rodents with demon wings is what they is. There's the old entrance to the parking lot. That used to be the main way in, but you can't even access that road from the freeway no more. Road's gone all over ground. After that tragedy, the company just pulled out and shut the whole park down. They supposedly tore it all down too, but really, it all looks like they just tried to bury the whole thing out of here in the swamp and left it to rot. Hey, is that? No, that's not the one that took my legs. Too small. Something that took my legs was twice the size I'd reckon. And jacked up on me. All right, we're almost here now, just up ahead. There it is, your entryway into the fun park. Just follow that storm drain all the way down and it'll lead you right to the main electrical room where you can hopefully get the power back on for the whole park. I admit it ain't most sanitary enough to weigh in, but it'll do just you. Oh, and we can discuss your payment after you get all the footage I need. Fair enough? Once you get that power restored, you should be able to explore the whole place. Right on some rides and stuff. You like fun parts, right? Well, this should be fun. You should consider the fun you'll have here as part of your compensation. One of the perks of the job, if you will. Well, go on now. Get to it. Ain't got all night. Dang, skaters. Last yeah. time I was out here, I saw a two-headed snake. Yeah. Hurry up now, I ain't paying you by the hour. That's 
definitely some freaky freak. Probably just the wind. You ain't scared of no balloon, are you? Anyways, this thing park you're breaking into here was built by a guy named Boris Grizzly. Well, I don't mean built like installing the framing and doing the drywall or nothing like that. No, he was a big mother. He worked no animator or nothing like that Walt Disney fella. No, Boris Grizzly made his fortune with firearms, alcohol, and tobacco products. Randy Rodham was Grizzly Tobacco Company's cartoon cigarette pitch man. You know, the hooks and kids. Anyways, I read up on him and all, and I guess he was facing a bunch of government lawsuits or something, and he was trying to clean up his public image and all by dubbing this here fun park here in the swamp and all like this. Yeah, I can park everywhere. Like the whole... The whole deal? Hey, what's that? Some kind of Randy Rodent crime or something? This stuff weren't here to last. What's that note say? Destroy Randy Rodent figures? I guess you should probably do that too then. See you. Oh, right, Mother go. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and Eileen, where the hell did that thing come from? Damn, they're sold my drawers. About sport my best trousers. What is that? Some kind of crazy Randy Roden headed mannequin? I swear I didn't put it there, dude. I mean, sure, it's true there's been lots and lots of people that have died here and all. And yes, there are rumors this place is haunted and whatnot, but don't let none of that scare you. Just keep going, dude. Don't check it out on me now. This fighter. Tree branch, it looked like a spider. Good thing I had a flashlight. Right. Let's see what we got. So this is about as far as I got the last time I tried breaking in here. I was a tunneling into the electrical room up there when that damn gator came up behind me and chopped off both my damn legs. <sighs> well, I beat him off me and all. Had to crawl my stuff back to my boat, losing half my blood along the way and all. It was pretty brutal. But this is where I find my Randy hat though, so it weren't total off. So uh, this is Ed, head of maintenance. Got a lot of people coming to me with questions all the time. Same questions over and over, oh, bro. Sick of answering them, so I'm gonna make these tips. Oh, 
It's a pain in the ass to do, you know, like a beer. Okay. My balls are sweating right now. All right, that's a little better. I can see stuff. I got this. That's though. It's uh, these bugs. So you keep watching me like that, girl. We're gonna go on a day. I'm gonna take you out. You really can't give me any brains, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? That power. <laughs> power. Power. This little cockroach. Listen, buddy. Okay. This mother. Hey, I think I lost communication there with you for a bit. Good job That's taking fine. some initiative and getting that power back on and all. Looks like you're just about to the front entrance of the park now. Should be just up ahead. That silly balloon again, you know. Hey, get it. Get it There's your happy fun land sign. Another one of them where that where fun conquers boredom and fantasy vanquishes reality. Hmm. Should just say where fun comes to die, be more like it. Truth and advertising and all, huh? Ah, damn! Watch out for that sucker. Don't get up on him. Just let him pass. Keep your legs on. Just let him pass. Keep your legs on. There's one of them old timey photo booths over there too. Maybe you can save your memories of tonight's little Shit, adventure in any one of them boots. We get to see it. Look at two. That looks high level. Alright, you're at the Happy Funland main entrance. Hard to believe this is all still standing out here and all, huh? This is really going to help me out with my scheme. I, I mean, my followers. Help me get more followers for my video channel. See, I had a lot of time to learn up on this place while my legs was healing. Good, you're good, they say they had this whole mean, place like... almost completely automated. Very few actual human employees. Mostly robots or audio automatons. They call those things. I guess they were very advanced for the time period and all built by some of these Nazi German scientists or something. Apparently, they all went all up in the haywire one day and just up and killed everyone in the park and all. That was a tragedy part I told you about. He's sleeping. Okay. Get that one right here. All right, let's go in this park. Let's go have some fun, guys. Looks like you're gonna need a ticket to get in. Poke around back at one of those ticket booths. Maybe you can find one there. That was wrong. Honey, this automated ticket booth is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please inform the nearest living fund employee to manually dispense tickets for you. Sorry. Maybe this motherfucker got some tickets, huh? Mm-hmm. Right down there, that's crazy. There we go. Okay, so if we go back here, this door. Ticket, ticket dispensed. All right, you got a ticket. Go give it to that auto automato, that Tommy and Tone tiny tay tiny Tim thing at the front gate. Hell, you know what I'm talking about, that thing with Lars. Here, sir, I would like one entry into your facilities. Thank you. Uh huh. What are you doing? Dude, this is supposed to... We finally made it. 
All right, you you're in. Mark Grizzly's Happy Bunland. Never thought I'd see this. Hey, looks like there's a map over there. Go check it out. All right, dude, you got a map and a mini golf scorecard. Nice. Oh, shit, we can do par. You might want to hold on to that putter. Could make a decent weapon if you might need one. That is not where I hit it. That is not a stroke. Okay? I don't know what the hell that was. That's not it. It was weird. There. Yeah, they got this whole area all blurred out on the googly earth and all. Just looks like empty swampland on there. Can't see any of all this what's here. So I guess they were originally going to call this place Grizzly Land. After Mort Grizzly and all, which would have been more appropriate after all the grizzly murders they had here, don't you think? Uh, not sure why they would have the doors tied into the mini golf, but whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to find out what he is. candy. Well, shit. Looks like you're trapped in there now. Well, don't get all freaky freaky on me. Everything's still going according to plan. Yes. We're just switching to plan B, and I'm going to figure out what that is. So for you, that means just keep exploring the whole place. I got the recorder running, so the video should be perfectly fine. Just keep it going, and don't be scared at all. It'll just be like a walk in the park for you. Yeah, walk in the park. Shit, I'm so, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to get that. I'm, I'm so, I, I'm so, oh. no. uh, well, looks like you're trapped in the gift shop now. Well, don't just stand around lying the gagging. Look around for a way to get those security gates open again. I don't want to be out here all night. You got my name? Yeah, tell me. They got sarcastic wage. This is some bull shit. All of this is a little suck it. You got my stuff, you got my merch in here. No. Alright, sorry, 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 sorry. They got a dick, but they ain't got my merch. This is bullshit. Oh, oh, hey, this is Ed, head of maintenance. Gotta keep making these tapes. Got People coming to me, the same questions over and over. I'm sick of it. So, if someone is tripping the security gate, trying to shoplift or whatnot, then you're going to have to reopen the gate to get the door open ASAP. Remember, the company will dock you for any downtime. So, we do we know that as a production from the paycheck? So, my advice. Damn Randy Road of merchandise. It would probably have been worth some money online though. Science. 
got one over here somewhere. So, yeah, yeah. Hey, probably best you just destroy them then. That's for my life. God, you won't do it. Oh, shit. This club broke. Some of this work, bro. Fire. What needs to be? I think you did it. Good to see you ain't as incompetent as I first took you for. Don't worry, I'm still getting a real good video signal on you and all. Whoa, there he is, Mort Grizzly statue. I can see the resemblance. I mean, sure, he killed a lot of people with his products and all. Firearms, alcohol, tobacco, you know what I want or I'll destroy you. But overall, not a bad looking man. I imagine he brought a lot of people a lot I of happiness to this park. Well, except maybe the ones that died here and all, but you know what I'm saying. You know, there's a rumor he's cryogenically frozen here somewhere in the park. Wait a minute. Does that mean these are like the save point? It's like save points. Okay, let's get a good one this time, guys. Yeah, good picture, good picture, guys. So I'm guessing out of all the ways we can go, we can break this. Give me flashlights. Oh, shit, we got a map. Right, so we came in the main place. Um, not very good at these maps, I'll tell you that. One man's greed, huh? I like the way he thinks. I'll hey, like what's that button on the wall there do? Port, Port Grizzly was a true American original. Born Mortimer Ooh, Avenue. Look at all these fancies there. Take your time sorry. looking around at all this stuff in here. We might oh, learn some shit. Shit. I'm but sorry. He's also I known as the Fat Man. Not just as an accurate description of his sexual appearance, but from the acronym F-A-P. Here, through the wall. It's, uh, 
enchanted banana, princess. Seven hobos. There's Joe the hobo, Mo the hobo, Lobo the hobo, Crazy hobo. I don't remember his name. I'll come back to him. I don't remember that. Okay, so, what am I supposed to do here? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Pepsi and Pep Potential in the lucrative youth market. The Grizzly Ad Company created the character Randy Rodin in 1929 to more effectively fence Pepsi and Pep Potential in the lucrative youth market. The 1950s brought more fortune to Grizzly. By now, Randy Rodin was the household name, and all of Grizzly's businesses were moving in the post-war economy. Mort's first and only son, Mort Jr., was born, and who Mort considered a disappointment from day one. In 1959, the, the 1960s were turbulent times for America.
Tommy, shit, dude, I've seen it all. Damn, a Tommy Parker alive. Holy shit.